It's time for the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Grammy-winning superstar Eve returns to music after 11 years. What's she been up to? We'll find out. Plus, Wendy's got the inside scoop on Hillary Duff's shocking confession. And here's the alley lashes out when you hear the juicy details. Now, here's Wendy. For a couple of weeks now, there have been rumors swirling around that Beyonce's pregnant with her second child. Well, any woman who's ever given birth knows that for that first year after you give birth, you are so open to get pregnant again. <laughs> so it's not difficult to believe that she could be pregnant again. And um, she, you know, these rumors all started when she was interviewing and she admitted that she wants more kids. Uh, she said that, um, you know, little uh, Blue needs a companion. So then we all saw her at the Met Gala and. I don't know whether I said this to you, but she could very well be pregnant under that. <laughs> to a trained eye, especially somebody who, who um, can glance at material a little bit and knows a little bit about what a waspy belt does, that waspy belt is up higher than what her waist is. You see, her navel's down here, the belt is up here. Second of all, the waspy belt has all those holes to be pulled tight and snatched. <laughs> But it's not pulled tight. And if you look at that material, and I've never touched this Givenchy she dress, so I can't tell, but doesn't it look like it's made of heavier brocade? So then, so then it, will, it will not like pop out to a belly. It'll just kind of lay heavy going straight down. Uh, she could very well be pregnant right there. Uh, and then here she is performing last week in this blue, do you see that? Do you see that in that blue cat suit? Now that could be a burrito. Cause, cause, cause you know, you know sometimes how the food lays heavy right down here. But I suspect it's a Bambino. Uh, so, and also earlier this week, she canceled a show in Belgium due to exhaustion and dehydration. There were also rumors swirling that there were a ba you know, all the photographers band together. You know, she, doesn't, she wants that no photographer thing and the photographer's like, we're gonna take your picture no matter what. So people were trying to say she canceled the show, no, d exhaustion, dehydration and you know, the photographers were gonna swoop down on her. But I don't know, I'm beginning to think she's pregnant. And then finally, I heard a little something that um, she's due in December if she is pregnant, and she plans on announcing that she's pregnant at the BET Awards. <laughs> Remember, she announced that she was pregnant on the MTV Awards, only, and the, but the MTV Awards don't play until August, so by then we would already know the BET Awards are just around the corner, right? Yeah. Just around the corner. So we'll be watching, and congratulations in advance. Yeah. By the way, uh, as a sidebar to Baby Blue, I also uh, was reading a lot, a lot you know, regarding people having comments about Baby Blue's appearance in public, because you know, she wears the work boots and the jeans and you know, you know, the curly hair. And people are, actually, people are actually going in on the baby saying, when are they gonna dress her like a girl? In my opinion, as far as the hair, Beyonce is doing the right thing, because any girl who wears magic hair understands that as soon as you start pulling and tugging and tugging and pulling, baldness is eminent. So what they're doing is they're leaving that little girl's hair alone to be wild and free. And as far as the jeans and the Timberland, they're teaching her early to knuckle up because you're, you were gonna be an heiress and people are gonna be trying to come for you and you're gonna have to learn how to stand up for yourself. I think the little girl is cute. So now Beyonce's uh, Kelly Rowland, formerly of Destiny's Child, is finally admitting something that I guess many people might have suspected, kind of, sort of. Uh, there was a point in her life that she's jealous of, that she was jealous of Beyonce. No word on whether that point is over. So I'm gonna say was just because she, well, you know, since the breakup of Destiny's Child, Kelly and Beyonce have remained close, but, <laughs> but uh, Kelly's new song, Dirty Laundry, um, in the song, she's admitting that she was jealous at one point of Beyonce's success. Kelly also says that she was, a, in the song, she talks about how there, there was this guy in her life, this boyfriend, who abused her and told her, your mother doesn't love you, your father doesn't love you, and Beyonce doesn't give a damn. And I'm like, well, who is this guy? So me and Hot Topics got to searching. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> 
and I'm ready to file my report. We can't find who the guy is. Oh. Uh, best we can tell, Kelly is like 33 years old. I don't know whether this was right after the breakup of Destiny's Child or last year or what, but I just can't imagine that she was being abused and then told that Beyonce doesn't love her when even though Kelly might have been jealous because Beyonce went off and married Jay-Z and did you know all the music and then had Baby Blue, you know, there, there's a little something there, maybe, but they've always given us the illusion that they're close. Well, Kelly, your song, um, her song, by the way, was written by The Dream, who writes brilliant music. So the words were right on point. But the music of the song, the song just didn't hold me. You know, like, this is not gonna be number one on the hit parade in my mind. It was an interesting song to hear Kelly talk about her past life, but the song, not so much. Uh, Kelly's album is due out later this month, so we'll see what else she's got for us. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Charlie Sheen's ex, uh, Brooke Mueller. I've been keeping you up to date. Uh, I put a lozenge in there, you all always ask. It's a lozenge. It, it tastes good with the tea. <laughs> Brooke Mueller um, is in rehab, we've been counting. Tw this is her 20th time, I've shared that with you. Oh. Brooke is the mother of Charlie. Oh, she's only 35 years old, too, so go figure. This time probably won't work either. Brooke, you've got to start taking this more seriously. <laughs> After all, you do have four-year-old twins, and when kids start to talk and tell what mommy really does, that's when Dyfus swoops down and takes him away. <laughs> uh, and it's kind of sort of happened. You know, Brooke and Charlie have these four-year-old twins, and they've been temporarily taken away from her because of her drug abuse. Fortunately, there's a saint named Denise Richards, who is Charlie's ex-wife. So, as opposed to the kids being dumped just any old place, because mommy's getting high, they were given uh, temporary custody to Denise Richards, who already has two children with Charlie. So in other words, the twins are now living with their half-siblings, and it's all good. But here goes Brooke, trying to stir the pot from rehab. Brooke. Brooke is trying to get the court to give her brother temporary custody instead of Denise Richards. Well, there's more to the story. According to Radar Online, Brooke claims that Denise is only caring for her twin boys for financial gain. In the meantime, this is so not true. Denise signed a sworn declaration saying that she doesn't want money from Charlie and furthermore, to know Denise is to understand, like she's got a heart as big as gold. Not everybody is after money. There are some good people in the world who do things out of the love and care, and that's it. And Denise Richards is one of those people. Um, she really is. Charlie, Brooke, they're all lucky to have Denise in, in their lives. In the meantime, Charlie claims that Brooke wants to give her brother custody of the twins so that she, Brooke, can have access to his $55,000 a month that, that he's giving her in child support. Doesn't this all kind of make more sense? Yeah, so, you know, the kids are with Denise where they need to be, and you, Brooke, instead of focusing on hatching a plan to get dough, <laughs> If you focus on your sobriety, you are in the best position ever. Charlie Sheen is one of the most generous people ever. You'll go back to getting your $55,000 a month once you get out, plus he'll give you bonuses and schmonuses. <laughs> just, just get sober before your kids can really tell your story. Yeah. So, Jennifer Hudson's dramatic weight loss. It's great for her health. We love to see her shrinking. Boy, she looks swell there, doesn't she? Yeah. Swell, how old am I? <laughs> There's certain words that do need to be brought back. Swell. <laughs> uh, you can tell you're small too when you can wear a satin skirt in a light color and still look very S-curve, you know? Anyway, so her dramatic weight loss is good for her health, it's great for Weight Watchers, but it's bad, they're saying, for her relationship with David Otunga. Well, the National Enquirer is reporting this, but this has been getting reported now for a few years, ever since Jennifer hit like that main mark of, you know, down to a size six, four, or zero. I don't know what she is now. I know when she came here, you know, and I hugged her, it was nothing, a bra, a, a, a bra and a thong. And you know, us girls, we're, we're trained to feel for Spanx. 
she's not wearing any of that stuff. Her body is that body. But David Otunga, um, her fiance, remember he was here on Hot Talk, so he's friends to the show, uh, to our show. And I kind of wanted to ask him more about it, but instead I said, are you guys gonna be getting married? He gave a politically correct answer and I didn't go any further on account of we had to mix it up at the Hot Talk panel. But David um, says allegedly that he's missing the woman that he fell in love with five years ago when she was 80 pounds heavier. At first, I know what you're thinking, because I was thinking this too. Oh, a hater. You know, you know how sometimes men want us to be fluffier because then we are less appealing to other people and like that. That is not the tree he's barking up. What he's saying, and I got this, that he's sick of, according to the Inquirer, Jennifer taking four hours to get ready. I could so see that because you know when you have a new body, you know, you're playing in your closet and obsessing all the time. Well. Her, he, also, sources are saying that he's tired of her obsession with every morsel she puts in her mouth. You can see that too, if you've ever lost a little weight, whether it's five pounds, eight pounds, or 80 pounds like she has. David is also reportedly concerned that Jennifer's becoming more famous for her weight loss than her talent. Well, as long as she's not famous for being on the pole. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Listen. We all now know that she's a talented woman, but she is more famous at this point for being the Weight Watcher spokesperson than, than acting and everything, but so what? Those paychecks are regular and steady. She only has to do like a photo shoot probably once every three months, and besides that, she's able to you know, be back in Chicago and take care of the baby and be more hands-on than if she actually was singing and acting and stuff. <laughs> Our next guest is a Grammy Award winning multi-platinum artist who paved the way for a lot of female rappers in the game right now. Her highly anticipated CD, Lip Lock, is in stores now. Please welcome the one and only EVE. <laughs> And then shoe oh, cam. Oh wait, Leah, let's do wait. Oh, I, I forgot about the shoe cam. Okay, I have well, to sit so the right we'll do, way. Oh, wait, there's your shoe cam. <laughs> and did we get a ring cam? The rings are beautiful. Thank you. Or the ring guh. And what does that say on your nails? Lip lock, it's the album Lip title. Lip lock, yeah. perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so I saw you last week at VH1. Yes, yes. And um, I knew that she was coming this week, so I wanted to save all my conversation. Okay. But um, it's great seeing you back on the scene. Thank you. It's been 11 years. Thank you, thank you. I mean, we talk about you now and again on Hot Topics for, yeah. other, for things other than music, but we'll get to that. Yeah. But your last album was out in 11 years. Yeah. Uh, why so long? Wow, um, I had a lot of issues. You know, um, I actually, I had a TV show for a while, so that took me away for right. a while. Um, but then, you know, I was supposed to put out an album after Tambourine, which was like 2005, 2006, yeah. ready to go, but I got shelved. So, um, How does yeah. that happen? You had a successful sitcom <sighs> and you know, you're like the only rap female to debut number one on the charts. Yes, um, thank you. Yeah, number you know one. What? Just politics. Honestly, I think, you know, I think my album wasn't what, you know, the execs wanted and they, they just put it on the shelf. So it took me a few years to get out of that label. Yeah. Um, then I got signed to another label, took me about a year to get out of that label and now I am independent with my own label. So, so you have your, yeah. what's your label called? It's called From the Rib Music. Now, I know that you were with a longtime manager by the yes. name of Troy. Yes, yes, yes. Who saw you through not just your first album, which was successful, but yes. also the sitcom. Are you still with Troy? No, I'm not with Troy anymore, but you know, he's amazing. He's had amazing success. Yes. And you know, I love him still, so. Now, um, d is your sitcom playing anywhere in reruns? Yeah, I think on TV One. Uh, perfect, yeah, perfect. I think on TV One, yeah. yeah. Um, those were good times. How, long, how many years was that sitcom Three years. On? Three years. I miss it now. I really do. I miss it. I don't think I knew what I had then yeah. while I was in it, but now when I look back on it, I was like, it was one of the best times of my life. Yes. So, so Eve is from Philly, everybody, as we know. 
but I understand now you live in London. I do live in London. It's fabulous. Isn't wow. it the best? Honestly, I tell people all the time, that's, that's just one place, one time in your life, if you are able to go to London. It, it has inspired me so much. And you already speak the language, so it shouldn't be okay. difficult. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, back to the music. Okay, so you have your album coming out. Yes. Are you still... Oh, no, it's out. I it's mean, out. out. So no excuses. It's in stores now. <laughs> okay. So wait. So is it, did um, any of the old school people that, that you used to um, work with work on it? Like, yeah. Like Swiss Beats? Swiss Beats, definitely. He did a track, yeah. He, um, he did a track with uh, me and Snoop Dogg. Uh -huh. Or Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. Yes. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Missy Elliott's on the album. Wow. Yes. I had to get her on the album. Um, and then along with some up-and-coming people as well. Like, I, you know, I had a really good time doing it. Who are these up-and-coming people? Do we know their um, names? Yeah, well, there's a... No, some of them you don't know. There's a, a young female hip-hop artist named Nacho, oh, okay. who is amazing when you hear her, you'll love her. Uh -huh. um, a, a young guy named Propane that's on the album. Um, Dawn Richards on the album. Corsette Michelle's on the album. Nice. Yeah. All yeah. right, so now, what about DMX? DMX. No, he's not on this album, but you know, I love X. X is. When's the last time you talked to him? Are you are you uh, still in his um We are... no, we don't talk, we don't call each other, anything like that. But um, yeah, we saw each other the last time for BET. We did something for BET, uh -huh. I think in the summertime. Um, and we talked and I love him. I love him. It's okay. I mean, yeah. you can go your separate ways, yeah. but we saw him on that Ion Love oh, right. Your Life, and it, right. it's, he's like caught up. He's a mess. <sighs> I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I didn't watch it. I don't watch anything, actually, that, you know, he's been on a few things. I just don't watch it. I and can't. every time people see you, they, they ask you what's going on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, but if he ever needed me, I'd be there. Yeah. Yeah. So now, we talked, last time we talked about you here on the show, we were talking on Hot Topics about you and your new boyfriend, Maximilian. My baby. <laughs> Okay, first of all, Eve, can I just say that you've done it right? Oh, uh, <laughs> Thank you. And I'm gonna tell you why. Thank you. Maximilian is her boyfriend, but in the past, Eve, you date nothing but money. Okay. Okay? <laughs> she was dating some <laughs> prince or king from Africa at one point. We saw the yacht, we, we read the stories. Like, you, just, you don't play, you are gonna get your count. Okay. <laughs> Okay. I, you know what? I, I just, there's a certain lifestyle that I think, you know, I want to live. I'm gonna do it on my own. I work hard. I work my butt off. But at the same time, it's like, you know, I just, I don't wanna be with somebody that I gotta, you know. Take care of. Yes. <laughs> and, and you, and there, there's nothing wrong with knowing yourself yeah. enough to know that you, there's a certain lifestyle that you wanna continue living. And I'll do it on my own. It doesn't matter about and the man, but. You can you do know. it on your own, yeah. but you've also had some bad deals with record companies. Yes. So you're in a more volatile business, whereas Max True. is, uh, he owns the Gumball. Yes, right? Gumball 3000, which I'm actually flying to tomorrow. Explain <laughs> to what do. that is to everybody. Okay, so Gumball 3000 is, it's a lifestyle. Um, basically, people who love cars, you go on this, it's like Cannonball Run. Yes. If you heard of Cannonball Run. So you basically, Basically drive 3,000 miles in seven days. Um, so I'll be doing it. I leave on Friday. I go from Copenhagen to the Monaco Grand Prix, and we drive through 13 different countries. So it's amazing. Okay, really wait a minute. Is. And yeah. what car will you be driving? Um, this year we're driving a Morgan. This a Morgan? This year we're driving a Morgan. They don't um, have those in Jersey. What is that? Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, it's a it's a, a specialty car um, by a family called they are called the Morgans. This guy Charles Morgan. They actually make them by hand, it's, and it's done like in the English countryside or something like and that. And Maximilian, if you're wondering, he comes from money, and he is money, and that's <laughs> Eve's boyfriend, and it's Happy. all good. Can I say now? I'm so glad that you've moved on from Stevie J. <laughs> He's everybody. He is um, on the reality show Love and Hip Hop, and. <laughs> I mean, you know, Eve, and I don't want to dwell on it. My no. stomach is turning, but I remember, you know, back in my radio time, you know, I was doing hot topics back right, then. Right. And there used to always be stories about you and Stevie and craziness. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. It was. It was, you know, it I think as ladies, a lot of us ladies have the had the unfortunate um, you know, ugh. instance of, of being with somebody like that. <laughs> yes, like, I can't even move. continue it. It's like, you know, it I was young and it was what it was and you know, God is good. I'm here yes, where I am and I'm God, happy in love. So. By the way, did he used to make that face at you when he got angry? <laughs> no, thank, no. The rap face? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so moving on um, to the rap game now. Yes, yes, yes. So who are some of your faves? 
Um, I think there's a lot of really cool girls that are out right now. I wish there were more girls. That's my only complaint. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I think Nikki's doing her thing. I think Azalea Banks is doing her thing. There's Angel Hayes. You know, there's a lot of girls that are coming up. Um, but we just need more. We just we need, need more. more. Yeah. Have you been watching American Idol at all? Do you see her no, judging? No, you know, I never, I've never watched it. So I don't, you know, I don't watch it. You don't know it, what it is. No. You're busy. Yeah. Is your neck sweating behind, <laughs> is your neck sweating behind the collar? No, it's not actually. Wow. It's fine. This is my, my Monica Chang. I love her. Yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's very cool. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about your um, new album, yes. Lip Lock. Yes. What can we expect? Yes. Yeah. Um, you know what? This album for me meant everything. I'm not just because, you know, it's been so long, but because it's on my own label. And yes. I think what I wanted to do, you know, I always feel like I represent females. Yes. And I'm feeling, I hope that when my ladies hear this album, that they feel the energy of just being happy and confident and making good music and that I'm speaking for them in a certain way. And I think you can feel that from this album. So the career is back on track. Yeah. You're in love with Maximilian. Yes. Um, you're about 33 years old now? 34. 34? Yeah. So, so you have a moment more, but yes. do you want to get married and have babies? Oh, it's time to pop something out. Yeah. Yes. Well, we'll Let keep our fingers that. crossed okay. for you and your future heir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Eve, Thank for stopping you, by. It was nice catching up with yes. you, everybody. Eve's new album is in stores now. It's called Lip Lock.